Three months or so ago, detailed explanations of how insecticides affect soybean growth or how cigarette smoke affects plants were no more than youthful ideas and pages in scientific journals. But in a short time, Atlanta area high school students have turned hundreds of topics in science and mathematics into accurate models and colorful displays. What's more, they can readily explain what it all means to you. Okay, the title of our project is The Character of a Hurricane. And we chose this topic because we knew it's, it sounded interesting. We knew we'd find a lot of new facts about the hurricane. And this is how real hurricanes form. The sun heats the ocean, which is substituting for our light bulbs and the hot plate. And it forms a warm, moist front of cold air rising. Every year, Atlanta students invest their youthful insight into the world of science. With coaching from their teachers, they devise experiments which even challenge the venerable judges. Many of them are professors or doctors from Emory, the CDC, Atlanta University, and Georgia Tech. Sometimes it's testing new ideas like wrong-way wings on a model airplane. According to inventor Norbert Lowe, they work better than right-way wings at high speeds. With the rapid advancement of technology, some of the 1981 science fair projects were science fiction a few years ago. Some of these previous winners of science and math congresses have gone on to national competition and very successful careers in science and engineering. But the real point of the Atlanta Science and Math Conference is that there are no losers, because every exhibitor here has learned more about what makes the world tick and more about the hard work it takes to come up with the solutions for tomorrow's problems. With the Science Report, I'm Alan Eustace.